Outlook my change. act will change because I'll need to learn to speak Spanish because I will move to Spain. Personally, in the last six months, I have read more than 5,000 WikiLeaks emails. My staff has read tens of thousands. And the biggest thing you take away from it is the criminality of the Democratic Party and the mainstream media and Hollywood combine that they work with and how they're heavily in communication, not just with network executives or anchors, but with the producers of Hollywood films and uh, the managers of major comedic stars. In fact, it's hard to find a major, quote, star that isn't getting White House and Hillary Clinton and George Soros talking points. Now, it's easy to get lost in this sea of deception, in this ocean of these horrible people making fun of their prey that they see as the American people and the people of the world. But it's important to focus in on one small little section of this overall tissue of lies. Enter Amy Schumer, super predator. This lady is the jewel in the crown of Hollywood and the establishment media, pushing their anti-family, anti-male agenda. The sickening venom that drips forth from her mouth was developed to destroy our civilization. This has all been declassified. And I saw a particular news story linked in an ad feed on my own website, Infowars.com, this morning that made my mercury rise to the breaking point. Why do I call her a super predator? I sat back after reading the piece more than 10 times, analyzing every crafted edge of it, and realized this is so predatory. This is so weaponized. This is what the CIA uses in countries it's overthrowing, which they recently legalized just two years ago. The reason this piece of deception is so important is that it's so pure. Every line she writes until the end is a deception. But even that itself is a bigger lie, only true on the surface. And it counts on you being unconscious and ignorant of how these systems work. The headline itself is based on a previous lie, bait to drag you in. When she said just a week before the election, she would leave the country if Donald Trump was elected. I will move to Spain. But she goes on to say, oh no, you silly fools. Don't you get a joke? It was a figure of speech. So here she is saying, you're dumb. And above it is the centerpiece of her line, a fake newspaper headline that even has yellow paper and jaggedly cut edges to make it appear that it's real, has this totally fabricated, libelous, slanderous, defamatory quote about Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States. Quote, if I were to run, I'd run as a Republican. They're the dumbest group of voters in the country. They believe anything on Fox News. I could lie and they still eat it up. I bet my numbers would be terrific. Donald Trump. She doesn't tell you throughout the entire article that it's a lie until the end. So the headline luring you in is based on the lie that she would leave the country. She tells you she's not leaving the country, stupid. You just can't figure that out in the first paragraph. Then above that, they have the lie that Donald Trump decades ago told a newspaper that you were stupid because you supported him. Lies upon lies. But this is the arrogance of the sociopath. And whoever wrote this uh, for this talking head, uh, there's nothing but a mouth uh, for the establishment to spew this information. When I say this entire thing is a masterpiece of deception, it's because the headline itself leads you in with a lie that she was going to leave the country. Then she says, oh, you're just not smart enough to understand that was basically a figure of speech from London. Ha ha ha, silly rabbit, I'm not going to leave the country. You're so stupid. Then above that, she has the big fake headline that I already mentioned with the edges all cut off and yellowed paper where Trump is attacking his constituents. So now we're only a tenth of the way into the story and they've lied to us about leaving the country. They've told us we're stupid, but they've also lied about Donald Trump saying you're stupid. And there's always this sociopathic or psychopathic tell in criminology where they have to celebrate that you're dumb. So they're projecting on a Donald Trump, lying, saying he said this, they later admit it's a lie, but also telling you that they think you're dumb. Then she lists the classic laundry list. He's a homophobe, even though he's been for gay rights. One of the real criticisms some conservatives could have. Then they say he's a racist with no evidence. Then they quote every other recycled lie that's been proven untrue. And then finally, at the end, she tells everyone to mobilize against the great evil that is Trump, that we must not basically let this man operate as our president, and that he needs to be removed from office. And then so she can't get sued, or she hopes she doesn't get sued, she adds the little proviso, yes, this quote is fake, but it doesn't matter. And there's another lie there, even though she just told the truth, because she knows, or whoever wrote this knows, with her name on it, 
that the average person only looks at the headlines and reads the first quote, more than 50% on the web on average. When you get down 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 paragraphs into a story, maybe 10% read until the end, and then they're wondering, what does it mean, yes, this quote is fake? That's only left there by the lawyers, so they have a claim that they weren't lying if Trump takes them to court. Now, in closing, let's look at the purpose of this. It's obviously to make you hate Donald Trump and think he's a deceiver that's playing you. But who just played you in this article? Who just admitted that it was fake? Who just admitted it wasn't true? The group that financed this, the group that paid to advertise this in a news feed to libertarian and nationalistic and patriotic news sites like Infowars.com. It was meant to wound and hurt people and destroy confidence in a leader who has gotten elected in a populist landslide. It was meant to derail the agenda of restoring our republic, and that's why it had to be exposed. They know that upwards of 50% of people only look at the headline. Then only around 40% of folks actually go and read the article and see the quote where Donald Trump uh, is saying that he hates you and thinks you're stupid. It's less than 10% then that read to the bottom of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 paragraph article and learn that the whole thing is a lie about Donald Trump. So in psychological warfare algorithms, that's a victory because you've just gotten 50 to 40% of people to believe that Donald Trump decades ago said he thinks you're stupid and that he hates conservatives. It doesn't matter that a minority reads down the bottom and finds out it's a lie because super predators like Amy Schumer and her handlers have already lied to the majority of the people. Now the good news is a lot of folks have been lied to over and over again. I've been conned, I've been deceived as well. But once you catch him in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 lies, like Obamacare is free, or two plus two equals five, or you didn't build that business, or our borders aren't wide open, once you catch him in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lies, you just automatically don't believe what they're shoveling at you and what they're putting in your face. That's why those of us at Infowars.com and Breitbart.com and DrudgeReport.com and WorldNetDaily.com and others that really are the new American renaissance, not really conservative, but just pro-Americana, low taxes and freedom, have to really watch our websites where we have these third-party blocks of advertising. Because more and more I'm noticing, because mainstream media has no viewers and listeners, they're basically placing poison onto our websites to deceive our viewers and listeners. So now, I guess I've got to start moving towards completely removing third-party advertising on the site. That's why we already fund ourselves around 70% selling direct products, t-shirts, coffee mugs, books, videos, and materials at InfoWarsStore.com. Because this is what sponsors do. This is what they use their funding to do, is to taint our message. Uh, so we're going to have to take some serious measures to make sure this gets blocked. Because I found this ad not only on InfoWars, but on other major liberty-based sites. You find this ad even on sites where folks are probably going to be the chief of staff for Trump. And that's not on purpose. That's because these people are criminals. They're super predators, folks. They are deceiving and lying at every level. So even when you're super smart, like a Stephen Bannon uh, or other folks, this stuff slips through. And we have got to be on it 110%. And that's why it's essential to fund InfoWars.com. We're running a sale throughout the weekend, 30 to 40% off on all storable foods, on nutraceuticals, the supplements, on the Molon Labe shirts, on the limited edition Trump is my president shirt, and so much more. They're already out with shirts saying Trump is not my president. We predicted that was coming. That's why we have the shirt. Trump is my president. But know this, together, analyzing the frauds, analyzing the lies, we can defeat these people. We can financially also not go to Hollywood movies that have pigs in it like Amy Schumer that prey on the American people. Look, I'm not going to sit here and say, see, I told you so, that communist Chinese style net censorship was coming to the web because it's already here. It's being announced. The way you keep the internet open and free is you get involved more than ever. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app. A new battleship in the fight, InfoWars Live, available right now. We're looking for a crew to man it. You going to sit down and play games and be a trendy? Or are you going to be part of history? Don't sit by and let the internet and free speech be stolen from you. Take action. If it isn't Hillary in November, does your act change? Does your outlook change? My act change? will change because I'll need to learn to speak Spanish because I will move to Spain. <laughs> Personally, in the last six months, I have read more than 5,000 WikiLeaks emails. My staff has read tens of thousands. 
And the biggest thing you take away from it is the criminality of the Democratic Party and the mainstream media and Hollywood combine that they work with. And how they're heavily in communication, not just with network executives or anchors, but with the producers of Hollywood films and uh, the managers of major comedic stars. In fact, it's hard to find a major, quote, star that isn't getting White House and Hillary Clinton and George Soros talking points. Now, it's easy to get lost in this sea of deception, in this ocean of these horrible people making fun of their prey that they see as the American people and the people of the world. But it's important to focus in on one small little section of this overall tissue of lies. Enter Amy Schumer, super predator. This lady is the jewel in the crown of Hollywood and the establishment media, pushing their anti-family, anti-male agenda. The sickening venom that drips forth from her mouth was developed to destroy our civilization. This is all